Well, hello and welcome back to our channel dedicated to substance use disorders and recovery. In today's video, we are diving into a topic that's crucial when dealing with a loved one struggling with a substance use disorder. Setting healthy boundaries. We'll explore why it's challenging for many of us to establish and enforce these boundaries. First, let's remember that the word no is a complete sentence. Setting boundaries essentially involves the art of saying no. During my daughter's struggle with substance use disorder, I found that fear often stood in the way of saying no. The fear of the unknown, the what ifs haunted my thoughts. Fear had a firm grip on me and I knew that I had to break free. For some, the intention to say no exists, but is swiftly changed in the moment, perhaps due to manipulation or, or intimidation from our loved ones. Others simply yearn for their loved one's approval and, and find themselves compromising their boundaries due to discomfort. Guilt is another powerful obstacle that prevents us from saying no. We, we tend to blame ourselves for our loved one's substance use disorder. It's essential to recognize that setting boundaries is both a habit and a skill. Habits are behaviors we repeat, and with practice, we can improve. It may never become entirely effortless, but it can become manageable. The key is to practice, practice, practice. Remember, setting boundaries is a courageous step on your journey to support your loved one's recovery. It's about creating a healthy space where they can thrive. Embrace no as your ally and don't let fear, manipulation, or guilt detour you from this essential task. Over time, setting boundaries will become a strength and not a struggle. Thank you for being a part of our community. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.